Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online, where today I am back in Eridon as we are uh, going to be heading to the Harborage right here to do the Castle of the Worm mission. Now I was really tempted to just go ahead and uh, start up with that Orrery quest back in Grotwood, but considering we do get a skill point from this mission, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking we should do this first. It'll give me a little bit of extra power, even though I won't be able to level up to uh, level 21 from this mission. I highly doubt it, at least. Uh, we will still at least have an extra skill point to spend to make myself a little bit more powerful and hopefully survive whatever that level 23 quest has for us, with us, of course, being just a lowly level 20 right now. But, uh, okay, so, uh, hello, Spectral Projection of Abner Tharn? What the hell's he doing here? Well, they did say we had an odd guest. Hello, Prophet! We have an unexpected guest. I'd today. say so! So, uh, what's Tharn doing here? My attempts to use the orb of discourse to locate Sysahan did not meet with success. I'd say so. so. I decided to try a more direct approach. Oh. I used it as it was intended and contacted Abner Tharn. Wait, 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 so you actually intentionally con contacted him? Why would you do such a thing? Well, is he at least being cooperative? He admits that he knows Saisahan's location. Of course. But he will not reveal it. He demands to speak with you directly. Uh, okay, let's hear what he has to say. Though first, I want to know what Lyris thinks of all of this. I'm intrigued. I don't like this, but if it's the only way to find Saisahan, I'm with you. Okay, well, you know, if Lyris thinks it's the only way, let's roll with it. Hello, Tharn. We meet again, Vestige. Indeed. I wish to speak with you on a matter of some urgency. And what's this about? Menimarco and his vile master have dark and terrible plans for this world. Yeah, we, we kind of already if figured that. If you wish to stop them, you need to find the Amulet of Kings. Also figured that. The amulet, you must first locate Sai Sahar. Oh, do we now? And you know where he is? Of course I do. And I might be willing to share that information. For a price. Of course. Always comes down to a price. If Manny Marco learns that we've spoken, he'll have me executed. Well, I'm yeah. Danger to him. I know too much. Therefore, I, Abner Thahn, Chancellor of the Elder Council, Overlord of Nibane, formally request asylum. Asylum? Are you joking? For once, my character actually says something smart. Do I look to be in a mirthful mood? No, but hard to tell with you. The Patriot's loyalty is stretched too far when the things he has done and has seen done become too much to bear. And will you come to us? I'm guessing not, uh, considering he's being, you know, projecting towards us, or, well, astral projection, or whatever the crap it's called in this world. Um, so we pro we're probably going to have to go find him. Would that I could. As it happens, I find myself to be somewhat of a prisoner. Yeah, of course. In need of rescue. My proposal Always is a prisoner. If you retrieve me from Menemarko's fortress and grant me asylum... I will give you Sai Sahan's location in return. And how can I be sure this isn't a trick? You can't. And you'd be a fool to trust me completely. Oh, oh trust the me, I don't. Remain, you need me if you wish to find Sai Sahan. Oh, and I God. must keep my head if I am to ensure the continuance of the Empire. Neither of us has a choice. Well, I guess I can see your point. Thahn is quite correct. We have little choice in the matter. You can't Lovely. Be serious. How can we possibly trust him? We can't! As our visitor so eloquently pointed out, we cannot. But if we are to locate Saisahan, we must do this. Go with the vestige, Lyris. Rescue Tharn. Give him the chance to redeem himself. He may surprise you. Yeah, I, I bet he'll surprise us, but probably by betraying us at some point in the future. Lyris, what's going on? I don't like this, but if it's the only way to find... No, oh, you're saying the same thing. I was hoping there'd be something new there, but all right. Um, Prophet? Beware the forces of the worm cult. Oh, I will. They may only be men, but they're the worst kind of men. Okay, well, thank you for that, Prophet. Let's roll. Oh, back to Cold Harbor we go. Um, oh, that's... That is not a good sign of what's to come. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to fight some things that are big. Very, very big. Oh, no. Well... Should be entertaining, and hey, get to use my Atronach again. I do love that guy. He's wonderful. I'll be okay, so we're back in Cold Harbor. Hello, Abner. You appear to have arrived in the wretched squalor 
a shanty town of Solshriven outside Menemarco's castle. And so how do we get inside? As luck would have it, Menemarco is away on some errand for the Daedric Prince. Okay. The castle garrison is not on alert, so you should only encounter a token defense. Nice. The main gate is sealed, but there are undoubtedly other routes one might take. Such as? You're the hero, aren't you? Improvise. You couldn't have given me at least a hint? All right, we'll find a way in. Okay, Lyris, what do you got for me? Improvise, he says. Yeah. I can't believe we're risking our lives to rescue that skeeving horker. <laughs> I like that, skeeving horker. Any suggestions? Subtlety and stealth. Let's not bring the entire castle guard down on our heads. Wait, wait, wait. Subtlety and stealth coming from a Nord? Okay. Maybe we can find one who knows his way around. Oh, well, we'd better get started then. Be inconspicuous. We just got free of this place. The last thing we need is to get recaptured. Yeah, I think we're going to be pretty conspicuous considering we're not all soul shriven and we've got this kick ass armor. I think someone might know something's up. But, <laughs> okay, all right. Well, so we need to find some uh, people to chat with. I'm guessing a regular old soul shriven like this. Not going to do. All right. Hello, anyone inside? Hello, Svaritra. I'm not real. You can't be. No, oh, I am. I, I, I assure you. Be here are the worms. Relax. I just want to know a way into the castle. Go away. Call the guards. They'll, they'll, they'll probably take me too. Just go. Leave me alone. Okay, okay. Jeez. Sorry. Ooh, backpack. Uh, glitter root. Eh, nothing really good. Okay, moving forward. Next house. Let's check this up here. Anyone? No, it looks like just all soul shriven. Ooh, Khajiit. Hello. You want to buy something? Famazar has rocks and dirt and bones. I'm pretty sure I can get all those pretty easily here. to be a merchant in the wretched squad. I assume it would be. Well, I need a way into the castle. You know of one? Feet first. That is the fastest way in. Yeah, I'd, I'd prefer Cadwell. not that. That crazy bastard Cadwell? seems to know Yay, Cadwell. this place. <laughs> Better hurry, though. I heard they just chased him into a building near the waterway. Oh no, Cadwell! We must go save him. I, I love that guy. Find Cadwell here. Yeah, I'm not too too surprised him. either, there, Lyris. Let's go and rescue him, though. Let's see. He's oh, just over here. All right. Why, why won't it let me jump up here? Hold on. Back up. There we go. And Flash Atronach. Ah, oh, lovely. Well, let's kill it. Oh God, I don't have my Daedra. Okay, let's pop this one, then this one, and attack! I'm out of mana! <laughs> or Magicka, rather. So, uh, no Crystal Shard, we'll just steal his health. And there we go. Loot. Ooh, he had gold. Always nice. Okay, looks like we've got a Thrall, an Assassin, and a Necromancer. Well, let's go for the Thrall first. He seems to be quite well separated from the rest, so... Excellent! We didn't pull the other two! That's what I was hoping for with him. Nice. Let's loot. No, 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 not talk with Lyris. Loot the guy. Alright, I'm gonna go for the Necromancer first so it doesn't, uh, raise a skeleton. Ooh, I got in a second shot. There we go. Nope, Assassin is the only one left. Nice. And a boop. There we go. Well, these guys are gonna prove to be pretty easy to kill. Excellent. Alright, we just got two in here. Let's Atronach them! <laughs> uh, I do love my Atronach. Ooh, we got a Warden Cornexius. Alright. Well, there's a Crystal Shard for you, or Crystal Fragment, rather. And a wand. Perfect. Ooh, 15 gold out of that battle, too. Hello, Cadwell, old friend. I say, jolly good timing. Lyris enchanted, as always. And you, you're looking fit for someone, so uh, how can I put it? Deficient in the soul department? Why, thank you, Sir Cadwell. And what are you doing here? Wherever the forces of evil prey upon the innocent, wherever souls are stolen and bodies shriven, wherever <laughs> a people cry out for justice, there goest I. <laughs> well, I, I mean, do love this Cadwell. Eternal servitude business is rather nasty, don't you agree? It really is. So, uh, well, we need to find a way into the castle. Debellers, garters, why? Lovely grounds, no question, but it's positively brimming with angry cultists carrying rather large weapons. Sounds like fun. Well, we need to rescue Abner Tharn. It's, 
It's pretty complicated. I see, I see. A rescue, is it? Well, that's a different kettle of fish, isn't it? It is. Mm, there is a cistern that drains into the waterway. Uh, the door is locked, but that's not stopped me before. Why don't you meet me there, and we'll see what's what. All right, well, thank you, Sir Cadwell. I'll see you there in a moment. That might be our best chance to get inside. I know, right? Well, so let's just make our way over in this to hold on. Oh, empty. <laughs> I just saw the little thing pop up where I could hit E to loop. Oh, and he disappeared. Okay. Nice. Cadwell's all magical and such. All right, so just got to make our way through this area. Ooh, another backpack. Anything nice? No, just more glitter root. Eh. I was really expecting more enemies to fight in here, but oh well, okay. Well, we've got one, and uh, you're gonna die, Colt Savage. There we go. And... Bam, you're dead. Nice. Oh god, I'm slowed. Okay, there we go. Keep it moving. And well, excellent. We didn't have to go far to get to the cisterns. I'm waiting for one of those big fellows to come up, though. Ooh, clan fears. Aw, you can see your brothers and then kill them for me. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so, Cadwell. You keep up nicely. I can't abide dawdlers. Excellent. What, what's next? This whole bloody castle sits on top of an ocean of unstable oblivion, what's it? Ah, what's it, of course. pipes to control the flow of it all, and it comes out as steam. Go on. Well, most of the doors in here are sealed with pressure from that steam. It's all rather complicated. But in a nutshell, if I can tamper with the pipes, we can open the doors to the inner keep, and you can slip inside. And what do you need from us? Well, I can handle the tinkering, but you'll have to keep the beasties off me. It will be quite a romp. Are you game? I am. Let's roll. Okay. So let's take out some clan fear. Oh my god, he's just running off. <laughs> god. Well, this should be interesting. If Cadwell's just going to start running off into fights. Okay, let's take him down. Oh, Cadwell got knocked over. Okay, well, loot these. Let's try and get to that. There we go. Wanted to uh, use that fragment before it ran out. I always do love when you get the free extra shot. Oh, God, for a second I thought my own clan fear was an enemy. <laughs> it's the problem with fighting these clan fear in this very blue area. Since my clan fear is blue as well, kind of kind of doesn't work. Okay, take him down. There we go. All right, excellent. Oh, God, Cadwell, stop running in front of me. You fool. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Corpse terror. Um, you're a big one, aren't you? Okay, let's hit him with that. I should have an Atronach here in a moment. Okay, come on, come on. Actually, we won't need our Atronach. This guy's going down pretty easily. And a boop. There we go. Really? No loot from him? And I was all worried about that big guy from the painting. Oh, God, Cadwell, stop running ahead. Ah, Jesus. Don't worry, this will get you inside with a minimum of fuss. Okay, thank you. Well, let's take out this uh, Dramora here in the meantime while you take care of that. There we go. And nice. Taken care of. Oh god, more of them. This one? Yes, but this time I have my glorious Atronach. Ah. Oh god, the Daedroth is coming at me. No, stay by my lovely Atronach. He will kill you all. <laughs> okay, there we go. Soul Trap. Fragment. Nice. Nice. Almost. Almost. And dead. And heal. Ah, I do love my Atronach. Cadwell, how's it going? Okay, it looks like he's tinkering with the last bit. Alright. You got it? Excellent! There you are. Quick as you please. There's even time for tea. Ooh, lovely. I could use a good cup of tea right now. A pleasure, think nothing of it. The merest trifle, truly. 
You'll find this Tharn fellow at the top of the Tower of Bones. You'll need to make your way through the Keep's heart to get to it, but it's not terribly far. And what is he doing up there? I understand the King of Worms has set him to the task of inspecting the soul gems that find their way into the castle. Which wow. is to say, well, uh, all of them. Wow. Crates of the things scattered around the premises. Okay, well, why don't you come with us? We could use another hand. Indeed. Well, I might just take you up on that. But safety first. I'll stay here for the nonce and make sure nothing comes to bugger up our little adventure from behind. All right. Thank you, Cadwell. I'll see the you later. Came through again. That crazy night is starting to grow on me. I know, Should right? He's awesome. Let's roll. Let's go rescue the horrible person now. Now that we've had fun with the cool guy. How many thorns does it take to rule an empire? Shut up. Huh. I'm trying to work here. None. The one on the throne is a patsy, and the one huh. in the tower isn't useful anymore. Yep. That's not even funny. Get back to work. Uh, I found it funny. What? It's true. Lord Manamarco. Okay, I'm just gonna kill these guys. I don't feel like listening to their banter anymore. It's pretty sad. And another fragment. Okay, got that one. And a boop. Ah, I do love the my crystal fragment spell. Ooh, lots of uh, lots of trunks. Ooh, pristine water. I can use that. Porky port recipe. Oh, I love it. Kind of a weird name, but nonetheless. Uh, moonstone. No. Oh, actually, you know what? Those hops. I do need hops. <laughs> and pardon me while I uh, loot her for a moment here. Oh, I've got lots of moon sugar in my uh, bank. Hide bracers? Eh, they'll sell. Okay. Uh, okay, now nah, I only want to check the trunks. Granted, the trunks aren't, like, nice chests, so they're probably the same sort of stuff we'll find in these. Urns, Concord grapes? Oh, yeah, what the hell? Barley? Yeah, sure, take it. And that actually reminds me. I forgot to eat some food before we went on this. Let's have some sentry soup. There we go. And make our way up into the keep. You. Oh. Hurry up. You. The worms are on the move. Me? Oh, you there. Okay, all right. Didn't see you. All right, so just make our way forward, I guess. And into the Tower of Bones. Okay. So talk to Tharn. Hello. There you are. I was beginning to think you were captured. Nope. We have a bit of a problem. I'm afraid. Oh, God, what's it? The door at the top of the tower has sealed with a warded barrier. Of course it is. I've seen the worms use similar sorceries before. It will sear you to ash if you touch it. And so how do we get through? But here's a thought. The flesh atronachs that patrol the castle halls are assembled in a laboratory very close to the warded door. Okay. If you created your own atronach, it would be bound to obey you. You could force it to smash through the barrier. And how do I build a flesh atronach? It's a simple process. A child of five could do it. Unfortunately, we don't have a child of five, so I'll be forced to walk you through it. You need uh, some good-sized uh. chunks of flesh. Take them to the laboratory, and I'll contact you there. Okay, we're on our way. So, we get to make a flesh atronach? I'm surprisingly okay with this. Oh, do we just have to chilled flesh? Interesting. Harvest that. And, uh, atronach parts. Can't okay. Can imagine how the worms get used to this? Well, they're necromancers, so it's kind of their thing. All right, so I'm guessing I can kill this flesh atronach and get its parts. There we go. And another boop. And you. Let's take that. And another boop. There we go. Nice. They're taken down quite nicely. And I just also realized that... I lost one of my Daedra. Not sure when that happened, but uh, a while ago, I'm betting. Oh, no, got plenty of that. Plenty of garlic, too. Need more hops. Alright. Make myself a nice stout after we're done. Oh, I really want a good beer now. Mm, I think I've got Guinness in my fridge. Yes. Okay. So, beat the quest, then have Guinness. A good plan. I like it. I like it. So did we actually get any parts off of that Atronach earlier? I didn't actually notice whether or not. I just kind of auto-looted without thinking about anything. We do, okay. Not the most glamorous task, is it? Really isn't, but you know what? I think we'll survive. 
So I just need one more part. And we're good. Hello, cultist. Oh god, there was another cultist in the corner. Take this. Oh wow, you died quick. All right, there we go. Nicely taken down. And this lady is floating. Ah, <sighs> uh, game physics. Gotta love it. Okay, we could go fight that guy, but I don't want to. Let's continue upwards and take care of this flesh Atronach. And fight him with one of my own. Well, a regular Atronach rather than a flesh one, but hey, you know, minor differences. Oh, wow, they died real quick. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of honestly a waste, but all right, I'll, I'll, I'll live with it. Okay, so I'm guessing in here, in this horrifying place, is where we build the Flash Atronach. Okay, pile up the meat in a ritual circle. Not very big, is it? Oh well. Now cast the ritual. Oh, okay, so what? What are we just making a small little one then? Use. And. And we ha oh my god, we have a baby flesh Atronach. No, oh, he's so horrifying. Okay. We'll make a necromancer of you yet. Oh, well, thank you, Abner. I would love to be able to do that in the game. It would be fun. Okay, so, what, what do I do? Just wait for him to, yeah, he's just running right towards it. Oh, it's gonna kill him, isn't it? You're not far now. Yep, and he's dead. Wow, all that work for just like a few seconds of a... Ew. <laughs> oh, I had to walk through it. Oh, God. Okay, just gonna have to kill his big brother now. Stop getting in my way behind me. And... Boop. Man, these flesh, uh, flesh Atronachs really do go down quick. Okay, just through here to the tower summit. All right, wondering how much longer we have on this. He's supposed to be at the summit, right? So I'm guessing, oh, 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 hi, hello. <laughs> oh, Dramora. Of course we had to find Dramora here. I mean, it is, it is Oblivion. So they were bound to be here eventually. And there we go. And boop. Nice. Okay, watch out for glowing orbs. There we go. Do I have both my Daedra? Yes, I do. Lovely. I guess I have to get close for them to spawn. I did. Okay. Hit him with that. Alright, you guys, I don't like you hitting me from behind. So, I'm gonna have to. S oh god, I've been trapped! Roll out of the way. Oh, oh god, heal! No, 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 not that. There we go. Oh, I got stu stuck doing a uh, crystal fragment while I was wanting to heal. All right. Well, we're good now. We're good. And take you down. All right. That one's pretty easy to take down. Now, these guys aren't too bad. The three was a bit of a hassle, but still not, not too horrible. Not too horrible. Ooh, Dram of Health. Nice. Okay, and we've got Tharn and some cultists. I'm working as fast as I can. No, he's not. He lies. Kill him. Kill him now. They're not going to, are they? And I also have a feeling we're about to be in a boss fight. Okay, well, let's kill these thralls. Ew. Take that. Okay, there we go. And we'll just take that. And I'm assuming once we walk in here, a boss fight's gonna pop. Hello, Thorn. So, we meet in person at long last. Yeah, I know, right? You're taller in your projection. Uh, okay, I'm here to get you out, uh, per our arrangement. And not a moment too soon. If I had to inspect one more bloody soul gem, I'd have thrown myself from the tower. Well, well before I rescue you, could you take a look at my soul gems? You know, just make sure they're okay. I mean, would would that be too much to ask? A fair question. I know things. Things that can help you. Here's a bit to whet your appetite. Menemarco isn't doing any of this to serve Molag Baal. Kind of figured that. His plan is to outscheme the god of schemes 
and to replace it. Yeah, I have a feeling that's not gonna go too well for him. So, what? How? The Amulet of Kings is the key to everything. Why do you think he kidnapped Sai Sahan? He's torturing him, trying to get him to reveal the amulet's hiding place. So he's trying to find the Amulet of Kings before we do. Precisely. With the amulet at his command, Manny Marco believes he can trap Molag Baal's essence and absorb his power. He seeks to become a god himself. Well, that sounds bad. What else can you tell me? I'd love to discuss this further, but this is hardly the place. Get me to a safe haven and I will tell you the rest. That was our agreement, was it not? Now, let's... Wait. Did you feel that? Uh, here comes the boss fight. Feel what, Abner? Yep, boss fight. Defeat Manny Marco. Oh. No, no, okay. No telling my secrets. Oh, but secrets are fun. Go to your room, Can I just fight him? I will deal with you shortly. Great, all this trouble and we didn't get him. Your old position at the foundry is still available. We'll even give you your own set of unbreakable chains. Oh, how nice! It's not a bad deal. Oh God, we've got. Oh God, what in the crap are these things? Well, you know, pretty strong generally, but uh, okay, got a lot of skeletal ravagers here that I'm not not too happy about. Who oh got? Okay, okay. All right, let's take this one down. Ow, I always get hit by fire. All right, let's take you down, Pyromancers. I need another Daedra. There we go. Keep fighting. Is he just going to keep uh, sp spamming these guys? Okay, okay. So, let's take the Pyromancer out first. They're always the ones that do the most damage to me. Oh, God, he's doing an AoE. Okay, okay. Let's take you down. Take you down. There we go. These skeletons aren't too strong, thankfully. But their numbers. Their numbers are a pain. And he's also popping little AoE explosions. Nice. A fair amount, I'd say. I've still got my own Atronach, you know, once, uh... Oh, I might need to use him now. Bone Colossus. I kind of want to wait to use my Atronach until... Oh, we're using the Atronach. There we go! <laughs> Who got? Okay, there we are. Got this Bone Colossus plus some skeletons. I want to take them down. Though with my luck, I probably should have waited on the Atronach. You dare attack the Chancellor of the Elder Council. He did. Wait, is is Abner still here? So oh my. Oh wow, they're doing the Harry Potter thing. Strike nice. Nice. While his attentions are on me. How dare you betray me, Zance? Okay. Your suffering will be legendary. No, oh, you say that now, but I don't believe you. He will not remain discorporated for long. His consciousness will be adrift for a few moments, but that is all. And why did you help me? Besides the fact that I'm trying to help you escape. Of Godhood. He cares nothing for the Empire. He seeks only power. And you don't? <laughs> I've never done battle with him before. He's far more powerful than I imagined. Oh well. Too late for regrets. In for a bean, in for a beanstalk. Okay, what now? First things first. We need to get out of here alive. And what would you suggest? You certainly can't go back the way you came in. I'd imagine they're swarming the grounds already. There's a refuse chute further down the path. It's a bit of a drop, but we'll probably survive. Probably? Okay, let's roll. Uh, got a refuse chute, really? Oh my. Okay. See, I'd love to listen to their banter, but they are not moving nearly fast enough. <laughs> Come on, people, we need to go and jump down a refuse chute, because that is clearly the best uh, course of action for us. Again. Need a way out. Cadwell! Yay! Oh, my favorite character. Just a moment. <laughs> I really do love Cadwell. He is wonderful. Hello, my friend! Okay, preserve us. You're as battered and bruised as a peach in a sack of rocks. <laughs> the old daring do, was it? Indeed. No You'll be needing an escape route, no doubt. Great timing, Cadwell. Yeah, that's what I do, quite honestly. We should probably hurry it up. The entire castle is as bristly as a sack of sewing needles after all that noise. And why don't you come with? Oh my god, can we take him back? <gasps> oh, yes. Come with you? You mean leave Cold Harbor? Well, I, I don't know. It's been a very long time since I've seen the world I left behind. 
Do you think it's wise? Okay, so we can either have him come back with us. Uh, you should come along. It might be good for you. Or let him stay here. The world is in, is in a terrible place right now. Perhaps it isn't the best way to see it. So I'm actually a little bit torn on this, because if we take him back to the real world with us, or, well, not the real world, but Nern, then, I don't know, he, he, we might not have him available to help us out in future missions inside uh, Oblivion. Huh. I'm kind of torn. You know what? You know what? He is very helpful, and I love seeing him in the Cold Harbor, so I kind of think I'm going to let him stay. But, oh, I don't know. It might be... Oh, God. I don't... Mm hmm. Oh, let's bring him back with us. Save him from this... Well, I was about to say hell, but he actually likes it here. Hey, you know what? You, uh, you know what? No, we're going to keep him in Cold Harbor, because I'm hoping he'll be useful in future missions. That is my thinking. I'm probably incorrect, but hey, we're going to roll with it. Do it all. And it's not so bad here, actually. Oblivion has its charms, doesn't it? Go on, you scamps. There's a grate just ahead that leads down to the rubbish tip. Do mind that first step, though. All right. Well, good luck, Sir Cadwell. I'm already regretting my decision. <laughs> oh, well, what are you going to do? Okay, so flee the tower. And we're falling. Oh, wow. Oh, great. We're in a lake of bodies. That's that's wonderful. Uh, cold Harbor. Yeah, I kind of regret Quickly, that decision. I've opened another portal. Hurry. Have you? How'd you open a portal while we were falling? And wait, why did we need to fall if you could just open a portal? Ugh, oh, God, I don't, I don't understand games sometimes. Oh, hey, Prophet. <laughs> just saw his silhouette to the side. All right. Oh my, this episode's running a little long. I just looked at my timer. It is 32 minutes in. Oh god. Okay, okay. Well, we should be done now, so this is this is good. We just got to get the wrap-up little conversation, get our skill point, and all will be well with the world for now. So talk to Tharn. Hello. My estates, my titles, my own life. It's all forfeit now. Yep. All in the name of preserving the Empire. I swear by all the gods, Menemarka will pay dearly for this. And are you all right? Of course. I am Abnathan. It will take more than a few brainless cultists to rattle these old bones. Now then, where were we? You were going to tell us where Sai Sahan is. Ah, yes. <clears throat> Truth be told, I don't know the precise location, but you I do know that lying he is bastard. prisoner, and that the King of Worms is trying to pry the location of the amulet from him. So you didn't know where he was. Now, now, before you lose your temper, let me clarify. I don't know precisely where he is, but I can find out. I'll just need a little time. You tricked us, and we're surprised by this. I mean, honestly, he was he was bound to be tricking us with something. What? You son of a bitch! Yep. Ah, there we go. Good say, girl, Lyris. I like you. Lyris, stand down. <laughs> he's done troll. nothing but lie to us from the beginning. I don't care what he says. He'll always be Menemarco's toady. Please. Menemarco wants me dead. Did I pretend to capitulate to him? Yes, I did. Do you have any idea how many lives I saved by doing so? The only I don't. Thing you saved was your holdings in your own hide, you pompous ass. Enough. Abner had no choice, Lewis. And we are guilty of our own deceit, are we not? The time has come. For the vestige to know the truth. What's Say what now? This? The vestige doesn't know. Oh, no what? This is rich. Sire, don't. Vestige. Sire. Until now, you've only known me as the prophet. Yeah, but that's I have. Not my true name. I am Varen Aquilarius. Our fallen Holy crap! In the tattered robes of a moth priest. Yeah. Blind as a newborn kitten. I am sorry I deceived you, vestige. Are you though? Are you really? You're angry. It is to be expected. You know, I'm actually not. I, it's honestly not too surprising, but okay, you're the emperor? I was once, but no more. My name is Baron Aquilarius. And why didn't you tell me? Why the deception? In truth, I feared you'd kill me where I stood if you knew who I was. You certainly wouldn't have allied with us so readily. Actually, I probably would have. this, all of this. If Moloch Ball destroys this world, the blame will be mine and mine alone. 
And so how can I trust you? Or, Le you know what? Lyris is cool. I like her either way. So, you know what? I still trust her. You must not blame Lyris. She did as I instructed. She's my sworn protector. But she is also your ally. You have my solemn promise, Vestige. When this is over, if you still judge me harshly, you can end my life. I will offer no resistance. Yeah, you know, I'm cool. So what now? We must find Saisahar. Everything depends on that. Is there anything else you need right now? We need to confer with Abner regarding mm. what he knows. His defection is a surprise, but it will serve only to benefit us. Manamarco did not dispose of his asset quickly enough, and now it is ours to utilize. All right, well, cool. Well, there we go. We have the end of the quest. A really nice ring that is quite cool. A skill point which will help us in the orrery. And, of course, some delicious gold. So let's complete the quest. And, uh, yeah, that'll be it for this episode. A bit of a long one. We're at, oh, God, almost 36 minutes now. And, uh, yeah, so I hope you all have enjoyed. And, of course, that you come back for the next episode when, uh, yeah, we'll probably head into the Ori. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one.